I am here at 156 San Juan over here in Mission Terrace. It's listed with Kevin Birmingham, great agent, formerly of Vanguard and of Zephyr, director on SFAR and whatnot. Anyway, this is a great little house, it's Mediterranean style over here, just off of Alamany in the Silver Terrace neighborhood. You'll notice the architecture is all very cute and nice, a lot of stucco and whatnot. So this house, listed I I can't remember what it was at. Somewhere in the $800,000, $900,000 range. It's pretty cute. It's been recently renovated, and I'm going to walk through the home with you. Take a look here at the Spanish tiles. And in here, we've got a nice little entranceway here. Nice inlay floor details. We've got a cute fireplace, which is probably decorative. The ceilings are a little more than 8 feet tall. You've got this really nice little eyebrow bow window here. It's single pane, but you like these. I like these little features here, and it looks like these can open up. But you're right on the corner. It's pretty quiet. I also have friends and clients who live just a couple blocks away and who really love the area as well. Nice little details here. And here you're going to go into one room, but over here we're going to go into the dining room here too. You have uh, forced air, central heat, which is nice. Uh, the I was just downstairs, and the unit has or is more recent than others. It's not the gravity filters, uh, gravity furnace, shall we say. Kitchen, you have uh, linoleum tiles. You have a little bit of a upgrade steep. You've got nice new countertops that look like Caesar stone. You've got this vintage, uh, great little gas cooker oven. You've got a nice uh, exhaust system that does look to be recirculating. So that could be something you could choose to upgrade if you want. And back here, take a look there. Can have that replace that little door here and they've done a nice job cabinets wise sink is a little compressed in here but it's nice at least flush and it goes in here it goes down and that will need to be completed as it looks like it's not quite hooked up yet so i think it's still in progress same thing over here with some of the lights so you can tell they're still in progress but over here i like this that you have a little dining nook here you have this space here that's a little different um, this is a set of stairs going down but over here you actually go into the sleeping areas too which are often connected from over there to over here so in here you had you have a little bit of a nice bathroom here classic vintage clean classic good exhaust system here got a tub got a pedestal sink with dual faucets and that definitely something that could be upgraded if you wish Nice little alcove. This used to be telephone, telephone booth, or telephone, I guess, I don't know, telephone something. Anyway, in here, you remember that's the, the dining room, or not the dining room, it's the living room here. You've got that nice middle feature here. I like this a lot because it's long. Closet, uh, probably would switch out those doors. I may even consider walling that and closing that off. So you actually have uh, a nice contiguous room and some separation between here and there. Uh, doing like that, something like that wouldn't be too expensive, I don't think. Uh, we don't have disclosures yet, so we're not quite sure exactly how uh, any inspections have gone or what reports there are. Uh, and here we have a smaller room, much smaller room. Obviously, uh, they've geared it towards a nursery or whatnot. And again, we'll take a look here to uh, their single pane windows. Let me go through here that can open up. Definitely, if you want or if noise were an issue, which I don't know if it is or not, you could consider replacing those as well and upgrading them. Light fixtures, same goes for there. They're okay and decent, but there are something that you can upgrade and add a little bit of personality to it. Out here you have a porch. Yep, that's right. You got a porch and we'll see it out there as well. It's pretty nice. It's actually a pretty fairly sized, good decent yard. I like these little architectural features there. You got some recessed lighting there. Also, here's the old ironing board. And down here is where we get to the basement, which is partially finished and partially not. Uh, it looks like there was once a unit or a cooking area down here. Looks like it's been removed, so you'll have to consult the report uh, to take a look at that for a three hour report. Nice thing about the garage, it's fairly big actually. Lots of storage, nice over here. It goes straight out the door over there. You could block your own driveway. Looks like we've got traditional foundation. There's been some work done over time, I believe. We've got some newer foundation over here. We've also got the older uh, with some efflescence 
I don't know how to pronounce that word, I think, but you know, a little bit of flaking that's fairly typical of the time. We've got copper water pipes here. There's we've got that forced air heater we're talking about that's been uh, or as recent, more recent than it could be. Water heater, nicely strapped, pretty big. Washer dryer here. And you have some little areas here that you could do something with, I believe. And it looks like the slab has been fairly, it's fairly recent. It looks to be in good shape. Now coming in here, we're back to the stairs. We have this little lip here, so we'll watch out for that. Nice wood floors here. Lower ceiling. I believe the ceiling height here is, let me measure it. Oh, oops, and see light here is just a little over seven feet, 7.24 feet, I'm not sure what that is. If you take a step down, you're going into this bathroom, nice long vanity, some garish LED lights, but that's the way it is. And another shower and tub here, uh, and going in here, we've got another room, another step down. We've got stages, a bedroom here, and going out here we've got what looks like a kitchenette or what could have been a kitchenette before but uh clearly now is just a little area that you can have a little wet bar perhaps or something now the, i think the nice part out here is this yard you can't quite see it but it is fairly nice let's see if you can see it it's got this little let me see if i have my flashlight here you got this beautiful flowering tree i can't remember what it is very fragrant very nice let me see if i can stone pavers let's see if we can get that and hello neighbors and uh you got this nice area here uh here's the profile of the house in the back uh it's very nice there's a little deck up there a little deck under here and it looks like there's a little fountain or bird wash here let's see uh, that's a little better a little fountain and here see if we can see the rest of the house maybe we can maybe we probably won't but overall it's a very nice house over here. Offers are due sometime this week. Listed with Kevin Birmingham Park North Realty. Nice emerging neighborhood that a lot of people tend to uh, overlook, but it does have nice weather. It is uh, still a good value, and it's also becoming more and more in focus and more and more on people's radar screens. So this may represent a very good opportunity to get into a property while you still can at an affordable price. Overall, they've done a fairly solid job here and I think it should do just fine. This is Kevin Ho signing off. Till later, take it easy.